I'm going to let him just get started. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. All right. Well, before you get started, I just wanted to say on behalf of Portsmouth SEO Moz, thanks for coming out here, guys. Seriously. Really appreciate it. Big round of applause. It's an honor to be here at the, on stage at the Music Hall. So, all right. I think the right button goes forward. Excellent. That's me. You guys heard about the four squares. All right. But my presentation is on four square. What's in it for business, right? And um, I have a very simple thesis. Graph, the best stuff is in the upper right, okay? Here's how it works. If you use Foursquare, this is what will happen to your business. You'll become more awesome. <laughs> All right, I don't know what you're thinking. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> These brands right here, all right? All of them have been leveraging Foursquare to increase their bottom line. Up there is a little bit.ly link to see the in-depth case studies, which you guys can check out. Um, I also tweeted my slides if you want to get that link later. And uh, yeah, no, seriously. And, and something to take away from this slide before I go any further. Um, you're, you're seeing some actual stores with presences, Radio Shack, McDonald's, The Ritz. And then you got some brands on here. MTV, where's their store? Actually, I think they may have some presence in Times Square. Sony Ericsson, Lufthansa. Um, it's not just about retail stores, this Foursquare thing. Um, you know, curious, by the way, how many Foursquare users in the room? About half. All right. How many of you guys have used Foursquare but don't use it anymore? Yeah? About? Okay. No? About the same half and the half, right? So maybe after this presentation, you'll think about it differently from user perspective and also from a business perspective. But these guys are using it all the time and they're making money. Why aren't you guys making it, using it to make money, right? So that's what I want to share with you guys. So, all right. Go get this, read the, read the case study. The end, right? No, okay, no way, right? You want to actually find out some stuff. So let's talk about it. What's the benefit to businesses? Digital word of mouth. Right here, digital word of mouth. This is an example. People checking in on this app. Basically what it is, they're going to they're gonna come to the music hall. They'll open up their, their, their Foursquare app and they'll say, hey, this is where I am. I'm at the music hall. That's what the app does. And you can tell your friends who are on the app uh, as well while you're there. And you may be able to share uh, on social networks um, where you are on this app. That's the heart of it. I'm here. I want to tell my friends where I'm at. And here's some example shares. You can push it out over Facebook, over Twitter, to your Foursquare network. Um, and digital word of mouth example, right there at the top is Don, right? I saw that on Twitter and I said, Don, what, what are you getting over there at Trader Joe's? Some, some spicy California rolls. Interesting. I can see the picture he took. If I want to, I can click on the, the link, see where the store is. Hmm, interesting. Digital word of mouth in action. Don just told me about Trader Joe's and their spicy California rolls. Bottom line, increase the business, digital word of mouth. Just like the, the previous uh, quote, remember? Increases the bottom line. So this is four square to heart. Probably most of you guys have already seen this story, know that check-ins drive uh, awareness of businesses. That's the heart of the application. Um, you know, the rest of the story here, I see Jason Bosher is the mayor of Trader Joe's, so he's here tonight. If you need to know about Trader Joe's, I can also see other friends who have been there. This is digital word of mouth in a, in a box. I'm already knowing that this is an interesting place to go from this tweet. And Foursquare is changing it up recently. Um, made a lot of news, actually drove down stock prices. This company, Yelp, you may have heard of them. I think they took like a 10% hit this week. Um, basically, Foursquare is making a big play into a new area, which is discovery. All right? So you've got one, one area for businesses of digital word of mouth. The other side is getting found. And Yelp is probably the premier engine for this. You want to find a great five-star restaurant, you're in a place you've never been, open up that, Elp, that, that app and take a peek. This is what you'll get, right? You get a story of five-star reviews, how much it might cost, et cetera. And Foursquare said, you know, this is interesting. I, I think this is a kind of a good model. But um, I think we could do it a little differently. What Foursquare has done is they've come out with a feature called Foursquare Explorer, and they've recently just boosted it up a ton. And what it is is it's basically Yelp with friends. You may have heard of the with friends thing. Uh, that's what they've done. They've come out with this idea that, well, maybe if you're in a new place, maybe if you want to find out what to do, maybe you should get some recommendations from your friends. All those check-ins that people have made. Um, we can turn that into a recommendation for you. We can say, hmm, I'm looking for a top spot in Portsmouth. Huh, they're recommending this Radici place that Drew's been to and said that they have a good Bloody Mary for brunch. Hmm, sounds like an interesting plan for the weekend. Um, it's with friends. Now, interestingly enough, Yelp has paid attention to this too, and they've come out with check-ins in their app. Um, but Foursquare's a little ahead of the game. They've got over 3 billion check-ins powering this engine, and it's kind of unique. So, new opportunity for businesses. Now you can get discovered in Foursquare. After this event tonight, where do you want to go? Hmm, nightlife in Portsmouth. Got coat of arms at the top. 
the press room, Thirsty Moose. It goes on. But for me, it's personalized, because I can see at the top, hmm, Melanie, Crystal, Carl, they've been to the coat of arms. That's interesting. Guys, is that place awesome? Yes. Yes? All right. All right, Seattle, you'll have your chance. So <laughs> then in the morning, where do I want to go in the morning? Hmm, breakfast places. Oh, look at all those places. Friendly Toast, Colby's, Popovers. You can see Dan's been over to Popovers and Monty. Jill's been there. Seems like an interesting place. Maybe that's not where I ought to go. Now, if I get the opportunity to go out to Seattle, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use Foursquare Explorer and say, where am I going to go out tonight? Now, Seattle people, are these places cool? Is Foursquare right? Top, yeah? All right. We got Rand says it's good. <laughs> so I'm in Seattle. Look, I've done this in New York. Um, I've said, you know what? I need to go. I want to get something to eat. Where should I go? Foursquare tells me what is going to be a good spot to go to, but also tells me where our friends have been. So at the top, I can see Mike and Amber have been to Brower's Cafe. Probably going to go out there and get a beer if I'm in Seattle, because I know those guys, and uh, they like good stuff. So Foursquare has just opened it up for businesses to be discovered. And then the other thing they're doing is they're saying, if we've got your check-in data, we can tell you some interesting things. We can say, we know where you've been, but perhaps you want to know where you haven't been yet. And you can explore your city even further. Um, when I saw this, this was my reaction. I was like, no way! <laughs> I can find out where I haven't been before in Portsmouth, that my friends have been, that they say is great. And I just did that the other night with my wife, went out to the district because we found that on Explorer. And uh, when we checked in, the digital word of mouth thing happened. Look at all those comments that rolled in. Hunter dropped in. Jason dropped in. What do you think of these places? I didn't even have to respond. Other people did. The digital word of mouth from the discovery, all in a box right there on the screen. So you guys have seen it. You want to sell it to businesses? This is what you got to do. All right? This is how you can get them to win and get, get found. So first step, claim your venue. All right, I've said this uh, is the main key component, but Foursquare is a, a user-generated uh, database, as it were. People have created venues for other businesses. The information may not be accurate. As a business owner, you can claim your venue. Very simple. Go on the website, find it, click on that link. You'll be able to establish some very important things. Be able to make sure your location is correct. Make sure your venue information is correct. If you've got your menus feeding out to a um, single platform, or if you're using OpenTable, you'll be able to integrate your menus into the site, similar to Yelp. The other thing, you want to get people to check in there, because that digital word of mouth thing is going to happen that way. Upper left-hand corner, that's a picture of the front of the music hall. They got a sticker. I got stickers if you need any. <laughs> Let me know. 